Leave Britney alone. The undeniable mistreatment of Britney Spears' conservatorship. Hashtag free Britney. For over a decade, Britney Spears has had zero control over her life's decisions. From being forced to perform and strapped to gurneys, the time for her freedom is now. For over a decade, the pop star has not owned a single day of her life. And that's why I didn't want to say any of this to anybody, to the public, because <clears throat> I thought people would make fun of me or laugh at me and say, she's lying, she's got everything, she's Britney Spears. I'm not lying. I just want my life back, and it's been 13 years, and it's enough. For more than a decade, Oops, I Did It Again, and 2000's iconic pop star, Britney Spears, has been owned against her will and has zero control over her life, from exiting her home to her reproductive rights. 39-year-old Spears has spent the last 13 years of her life controlled and forced under her conservatorship, but with the hashtag Free Britney movement spreading like wildfire and the world realizing the extent of the issue, Spears is speaking when she has been silenced for far too long. What was once supposed to be a temporary conservatorship has expanded far beyond the rights of humanity, as this is no longer a pop star issue, but rather an issue of fundamental rights and the direct abuse people have over women once they are claimed as crazy. It was Spears' voice, talent, and personality that won over the world. All of the hands behind the scenes just aided her by lifting a brush or sewing a stitch on her red latex costume. And yet, she has no ownership of the life she has worked relentlessly for, and most evidently deserves to own as she settles into her life after giving so much of it to the media industry. For the first time in years, Britney Spears spoke for herself in front of a judge on June 23rd, 2021, as she made claims about the mistreatment of her conservatorship. Spears' conservatorship comes across similarly to The Changeling, a film starring Angelina Jolie, that depicts the control a man's world has over a woman when a group of people with power claim she is insane. A woman's moment of weakness is a man's golden opportunity to take complete control over her even under the circumstances and the truth that Spears has been harassed relentlessly by the ruthless and vile entertainment and music industry. Not to mention the enormous amount of physical and emotional drain that was put onto Spears to entertain the world. With all that she has been put through since she was a child, she has without a doubt handled it better than most would have. And yet, she is strapped forcefully onto Gurney, drained by medication, and taken advantage of against her will. Of course, anyone would have a few mental health issues considering everything she had been put through. But instead of help, the world has taken advantage of her for her, their tabloids and headlines. The lead up to Britney Spears' conservatorship. When Britney Spears was only 16 years old, she became the largest pop star of all time. With her pure-hearted personality and determination to excel in her craft, Spears has put up with being sexualized, harassed, and prodded by men in the entertainment industry from a very young age. And these men continued to push their sexist views onto her in interviews and yelling slurs at her on the street. This volume of harassment would make anyone lose a few strings, even for a short period of time. But what was once supposed to be temporary has lasted over a decade. Britney Spears' conservatorship begins with microaggressions and continued pressure on the pop star from such a young age to perform like a circus animal in front of the world. All celebrities have their battles with paparazzi and media scrutiny. But it's no secret that Britney Spears has gone through the worst with cameras and tabloids following her every move. During Spears' second pregnancy, and with her first child, Preston, she was harassed by hundreds of paparazzi before taking shelter in a nearby restaurant. Looking for help, the cafe owner instead disregarded her distress while onlookers and paparazzi continued to harass Spears forcefully. These images are bone chilling as she holds her baby clearly upset, but holding herself enough together to enjoy the blissful moment of having her child with her. Has any of these vultures with cameras taken a second to think about her mental health? As with most young relationships, Spears' breakup with Justin Timberlake hurt her to the extent of reevaluating her pure self image. Being in a relationship as an iconic pop star with another pop star, the amount of media that followed their breakup would hurt anyone. Mind you, any breakup hurts, but match that with tabloids speaking disgusting rumors about your identity and sexuality as being the toxic side of the relationship while Timberlake was his golden boy. Yeah, some rebellion might just occur. So forgive Spears for maybe hanging around with different people or acting upon the words that were smeared across the headlines and whispered amongst people for months. 14 years ago, in 2007, Britney Spears would forever be labeled as crazy when she shaved her head at a salon in Tarzana 
Of course, the paparazzi were there to harass and embarrass the star where she was having a moment of vulnerability that was now being spread across every news outlet. I, myself, had a moment of resurgence and shaved my own head, looking for a new beginning. As women, our hair defines us as an indicator of womanhood, something so many women hold on to to express themselves. When you allow yourself to be rid of it, it is a surreal experience to be rid of your past and defining characteristic that men desperately cling to. Fans believe that Spears shaved her head as an act of rebellion or postpartum depression, while the media, her family, and the court ruled her mentally unstable. A few days later, Spears attacked a paparazzi's car with an umbrella, clearly upset by how they were antagonizing her. What do you expect when you continuously poke someone or lack basic human decency to back away and respect their privacy? This year of trauma had her entire life taken away from her, from her financial success to her children, whom she loves with all her heart. She was 27 years old at the time, when she was then hospitalized in a psychiatric hospital against her will and classified as GD, greatly disabled, where she was then evaluated for her mental health stability. These people with cameras are entirely out of line and have now caused women to be taken advantage of for over a decade. At the end of 2008, her father, Jamie Spears, requested an emergency temporary conservatorship when Spears was evaluated as too unstable to take care of herself. A conservatorship is a legal structure when a person is deemed unfit to care for themselves. The person's finances, decisions, and life are appointed to an individual or organization. Jamie Spears was given all of his daughter's rights, from whom she sees where she goes and what she does, with all the money she works for and continues to work for against her will, all while being supervised and controlled. Spears has since released four albums, performed a four-year residency in Las Vegas, became a judge on The X Factor, and had a very successful perfume line. I truly believe this conservatorship is abusive. And now we can sit here all day and say, oh, conservatorships are here to help people. But ma'am, there's a thousand conservatorships that are abusive as well. The control he had over someone as powerful as me, as he loved the control to hurt his own daughter 100,000 percent, he loved it. If she is mentally fit to perform, choreograph, and judge in front of millions, why is she still under a conservatorship, especially when that conservatorship was supposedly meant to be temporary? That, my friends, is why we do not need to be angry for Spears, but we have to be angry for her. Because this is beginning to be a lifelong prison sentence for a woman who did nothing but have a moment of weakness against monsters who attacked, embarrassed, and harassed her for years. She was angry, and so would anyone with the right mind be when vultures of humanity insistently attack you day in and day out, praying for the opportunity in which she would break. But my precious body, who has worked for my dad for the past fucking 13 years, trying to be so good and pretty, so perfect when he works me so hard when I do everything I'm told in the state of California allowed my father, ignorant father to take his own daughter who only has a role with me if I work with him. They set back the whole course and allowed him to do that to me. Behind the scenes is where the true horrifying nature of that conservatorship reveals itself. But of course, headlines and paparazzi rather than focus on Spears' weaknesses and rather than admitting that they are the ones doing the harm. While on The X Factor, she was continuously monitored and moved around robotically, performing tasks and putting on a fake image for the world. After I've lied and told the whole world I'm okay and I'm happy, it's a lie. I thought I just maybe I said that enough. Maybe I might become happy because I've been in denial. I've been in shock. I am traumatized. You know, fake it till you make it. But now I'm telling you the truth, okay? I'm not happy. I can't sleep. I'm so angry, it's insane. And I'm depressed. I cry every day. Jamie Spears controls his daughter's finances by allotting her $2,000 per week to spend, even when she makes millions every year. He controls whom she speaks to, how long she works, any little thing he can have a say in, he does just that. Jamie has the decision over her health care, the medication put into her system, and even has 24 hour security outside her home. Her continued hard work is racking in money. And who gets to live in the results of her hard work? The monster who take her money and control her every more. Although due to health issues, Jamie stepped down from her conservator to co-conservator in 2019. Britney Spears has made it clear that she wants him out of the picture altogether and to be reprimanded for his actions. All I want is to own my money for this to end and my boyfriend um, to drive me in his fucking car. And I would honestly like to sue my family to be totally honest with you. Um, I also would like to be able to short share my story with the world and um, what they did to me instead of it being a hush-hush secret to benefit all of them. I want to be able to be heard on what they did to me by making me keep this in for so long is not good for my heart. I've been so angry and I cry every day. It concerns me. I'm told I'm not allowed to expose the people who did this to me. No one in this world is mentally capable of withstanding all that Britney Spears has put up with within her lifetime. The constant poking and prodding of the media who attack her in 
any way they can is enough to make my brain expand against my skull even to wrap my mind around it. And yet, she continues to show strength and is still taken advantage of and deemed unfit when she has clearly proven herself more than capable of controlling her own life. If she can handle a group of backup dancers, co-host the X Factor, or perform in front of thousands, she can more than well decide when she wants to have lunch and how much she wants to spend on a hamburger. The hashtag Free Britney Movement. <laughs> Leave her alone! <laughs> Die-hard fans of Britney have been loud about their worries and frustrations with her continued conservatorship now at the age of 39. The world has since launched the website FreeBritney.net that started the hashtag FreeBritney movement to vocalize and hopefully end the continued ownership of her life. The hashtag FreeBritney movement is getting larger every day as its purpose is to fight for her freedom after a long battle of having zero control over her life. The constant momentum is rallying even more and even the most famous of troops. Many fans concerned were raised when Britney began posting seemingly abnormal Instagram posts which had most people start to evaluate if the pop star was giving secret hints for help. From her eyes, many began to say that she was showing signs of distress with her fidgety behavior toward a person behind the camera. Many thought she was being controlled to perform for the camera. In 2019, Spears canceled her Las Vegas residency because she was confined in a mental health facility for months involuntarily, which made her fans very concerned and ultimately became the powerhouse for the world to realize the actual mistreatment of her conservatorship. The hashtag Free Britney movement, which was once a small group of dedicated fans, is now entering everyone's homes as people who understand fundamental human rights are angry with her conservatorship. From celebrities speaking out, tweets, TikTok videos, podcasts, Instagram posts, the world is screaming for Spears to regain her independence and become the normal girl she desperately desires. Recap. I was on tour in 2018. I was forced to do. It was very threatening and scary and with the conservatorship, I couldn't even get my own attorney. So out of fear, I went ahead and I did the tour. I was basically directing most of the show with my whereabouts, where I preferred to rehearse and actually did most of the choreography, meaning I taught my dancers my new choreography myself. Ma'am, I'm not here to be anyone's slave. Three days later, after I said no to Vegas, my therapist sat me down in a room and said he had a million phone calls about how I was not cooperating in rehearsals. He immediately the next day put me on lithium out of nowhere. He took me off my normal meds I'd been on for five years. And lithium is a very, very strong um, and completely different medication compared to what I was used to. You can go mentally impaired if you take too much, if you stay on it longer than five months. But he put me on that and I felt drunk. I really couldn't even take up for myself. I couldn't even have a conversation with my mom or dad really about anything. I told them I was scared. Not only did my family not do a goddamn thing, my dad was all for it. Anything that happened to me had to be approved by my dad. And my dad only... He Why Britney must be freed from the conservatorship. Hashtag free Britney. I want to end the conservatorship without it being evaluated. In April 2021, Britney Spears requested an open court hearing to discuss her desire to end the conservatorship. On June 23rd, 2021, Spears spoke after being silenced for far too long during her 24-minute testimony, which live streamed from the Los Angeles Superior Court. Spears made claims about the mistreatment she had gone through while being held under conservatorship from forceful medications, solitary treatment, forced work, and many more frightening things. The most shocking is that she had been forced to take an IUD to avoid pregnancy, violating reproductive rights. If there's anything about whom Britney Spears wishes to become, it's a normal woman who gets to have her children around her 24 seven and to live in the luxury she gave her life for. I wanna be able to get married and have a baby. I was told right now in the conservatorship, I'm not able to get married or have a baby. I have a um, ID inside of myself right now so I don't get pregnant. I wanted to take the ID out so I could start trying to have another baby, but this so-called team won't let me go to the doctor to take it out because they they don't want me to have children, any more children. Spears said that the California legal system is much to blame for the torment she had been living through. She has been strapped and tied down to gurneys when all she wanted was to hold her children. Being trapped in her home, she became so lonely that she would ask the housekeeper to bring her over her children so that she'd have some joy. Everyone involved needs to be reminded that they work for her. She is the one bringing in the money, doing the work, has the face and is the name. The California legal system owes Britney the decade of mistreatment by doing what she requests and removing Jamie Spears from the conservatorship. All of this is because Britney Spears wants her father gone. If there's anything she deserves, it's for her to decide if her father is in her life or not. And she has vocally chosen that she wants nothing to do with him. So how? How does someone as successful, powerful, and famous as Britney Spears remain trapped in her own skin without a say or on anything she wishes to do? It's been far too long, and the need for Spears to get the life she deserves and has worked for entertaining the world is now.
again, it makes no sense whatsoever for the state of California to sit back and literally watch me with their own two eyes make a living for so many people and pay so many people trucks and buses on tour on the road with me and be told I'm not good enough, but I'm great at what I do. And I allow these people to control what I do, ma'am, and it's enough.